Hi, in tonight's video we're going to show you how to replace a CCU or chassis control unit in a 2008 Arcticat F1000. Now these machines are fast but they have a few quirks that can give you some issues. So this here is what they call a CCU or voltage regulator. Um, there is a trouble code on the dash for these and if you get the trouble code for the CCU or you get odd CCU trouble codes that's the wrench icon not the engine icon those are two separate trouble lights it could be bad CCU so the best way to diagnose and know if you have a bad CCU is to test out a known good one so there are a few versions of these on 2007 they had the 226 and I've seen revision A and revision B on the slides. And I just recently found out that revision, sorry, the 226 is not back forward compatible with the 2008 and up sleds, but the 246, which came on the 2008 sled, is backwards compatible. So let's, uh, let's show you on this sled this sled has the 246 code. Sorry if you can't see that. Let me get that laid under here. There you go, 246. I'm going to show you how to get this off and get it on. So there's um, a quick way to get it off and a long way to get it off. But this version will be sped up it's a long way but it'll be sped up because I've already removed most of the fasteners um, and then in 2010 which is when Articat made the biggest updates to the twin spar chassis they went to a more traditional voltage regulator so that's what it looks like off this is off of 2011 these have a lot less problems so first thing you gotta do is take the seat off, which you can see in one of my other videos. And then you have to take the spar cover off. Um, in one of my other videos, I show you how to do the other side. This is, actually this one's a little bit easier. This side, so you got three fasteners, one up here. This attaches to here. The fastener here in the tank, be careful with this one. Soak that one with, the, with uh, penetrating oil. When you put that one back on, use the anti-seize. Um, you also got to remove the recoil handle. So pull it out, cut it off, undo it. Um, I like to put vice grips on the inside of the recoil while I do that, just so it doesn't go back in. And then you've got two torques in here. You pull this out and then you can bend this out. I've already taken the nose off. You don't have to take the nose off. So once you pull this out at the front where the spar cover attaches to the bumper, there's two screws. On my 07, it had Torx. On this 08, it had Phillips. So we'll just pull that out, undo those two, take that off, and now you've got your CCU. So your CCU has two nuts here and here and it's got two wiring connectors. The main wiring harness is here, so you un can unclip that. Press up on the tab on the bottom. You should be able to pull it out fairly easily. Um, swiggle it, pull it off, and then you've got this three wire harness here. So fold this back, undo any zip ties. I've got a few zip ties in here. And you can see, you can barely see, let me grab the light. So in there, we're squeezing between the frame and gas tank there. So that's the trouble part there. Um, the quick method will be to cut the end of the wiring harness and you will get it through there. Um, if you know for sure your CCU is bad, you can do that. If you're not sure, I wouldn't do it, do that. So we're gonna follow that three wire 
down here to your connections. This is where your stator connects to your CCU. Right here, this is the what you gotta undo. This is usually covered by sheath like this, cloth sheath with Velcro. So under your Velcro, pull that off. Um, this particular sled is very dirty and disgusting. I would not uh, keep my sled in this condition. I bought this one used to part out. It's missing fasteners everywhere. Things are put together wrong. It's just a mess. But it has some good parts, so we'll we'll deal with that. So going back to the long version, we got to pull the gas tank back. It's not too hard to do that. Um, these fasteners here, they do like some penetrating oil on here. So you've got one, two, three bolts here, one, two, three bolts here, and then one, two bolts, and those are on the other side. These are kind of long. Pull those out. Once all those fasteners are out, you can lift this up and pull it back. Got the steering support. And then we've got two fasteners on the tank before we can move the tank back. So there's lots of wires uh, in there. There's lots of uh, other stuff. The coils are attached to the coolant tank. The coolant tank is attached to the gas tank. Among, among other things that are attached to the gas tank. But you will be able to wiggle the gas tank and pull it back a little bit after you remove these other two fasteners. So fasteners are going to be right here. So two more Torx fasteners, one on this side, one on the other side. So grab those two fasteners out of there and uh, yeah, wiggle your gas tank back about an inch. That's all you need. So I'm going to disconnect this. This one's the same. I'm going to use two hands on this. Just push down the tab, pull that apart. Um, I'm also going to snip off all the zip ties on this wiring harness. And then we'll zip off these two nuts and grab that CCU off here. Okay, so I've got this freed up, this cable here. I've got this connection undone. Um, that can sometimes be a tricky one. I ended up grabbing this end with pliers, this end with uh, very firmly with my hands. Um, these do sometimes get quite hot and melt. Check your ends. See, one prong's a little discolored, but it's not melted. So hopefully both ends are still good. So tip if you're putting a CCU in, test it before running the wires behind, um, doing everything back up. All you have to do really is plug in the two ends and you can test them out. And then we've got to do these two nuts up there. Those are tens. Swap my torques for 10 and get those looking in here on this wiring harness. This is where you shake your head and give a middle finger to the person who designed this. That's a T40, it's got a nut on the back, and with these wires here and this motor mount here, there's no room to get a wrench in there or a socket in here. So what I'm going to do is remove one, two, three, 13 millimeter bolts. I'm going to take this engine mount out. This motor is going to come out anyways. I don't really care. Um, if you can find a better way, I'll leave a comment down below. Um, but this really isn't that hard to remove and put that back in. The motor's not really going to move. It's got uh, motor mounts on the front and the other side so it should not move as well. Let's zip those out and uh, get this T40 out and our CCU will be ready to come up. I finally got that. What I had to do is grab the stubby 13 and angle it down. I was able to get it in there and get that out but that was a big pain in the butt.
Okay. So everything's free. Let's flip. Come off. Um, and then we gotta work our wire back through there. Got the gas tank pulled back a little bit, so it should go through. Yeah, it came through that hole. Not too bad. With the light shining. And we have success. Thanks for watching. Please give this a like. Comment down below on what you think I could have done better or your experiences with these things. Have a good one.